Hi, I'm Luca De La Torre, and I'm a midfielder for the U.S. men's national team. I remember when I was like really young, my dad told me, it's different for you because you live in America. Like if you lived in Brazil or something, you'd be playing football on the street for eight hours a day, but you live here, so you can't do that. I would train with my club team three times a week, play games on the weekends, and every day that I didn't have a game or a training session with a team, he would take me out and we would do drills. I would touch the ball thousands of times. I think I got a lot of my game, my comfort with the ball from doing that from such a young age. So I started playing for youth national teams when I think I was 13 years old. When I was playing for the youth national teams, I was scouted by Fulham kind of around yeah, 13 or 14. When I reached the age of 15, I kind of felt like I had to make a choice between trying to, to move to Europe or to maybe kind of taking a step back and deciding to try to go to college. And yeah, I decided I wanted to try to go pro. Here I'm probably yeah, 15. This is around when I first moved to Fulham. I was at Fulham for seven years from the age of 15. So I worked my way through the academy in a way like I kind of grew up in London as well. and I trained with really, really good players when I was there. Uh, I was a part of two promotion teams. Even though I wasn't playing, I was still training every day with guys who were really like, you know, Premier League quality players, which really shaped me. This is this is me at Heracles. It was really the, the only option I had, but it just worked out really, really well. I think I was lucky. It was the right club at the right time. Really good group of people, good group of players, the right manager for me. At the time, I played a good season in Holland. I also was good in the, in the March friendlies when I was called up. I felt like I should have been called up to the Nations League, that's what I remember, because uh, it didn't conflict with the, the schedules during preseason. Gold Cup did. And yeah, maybe I would do well at the Gold Cup and do well with the national team, but it was a career move and uh, it paid off in the end. I remember kind of making a conscious choice that it didn't matter if I wasn't going to get a chance at Fulham. I was going to work as hard as I could. And the next place that I landed, like I would make it stick. And I remember taking that feeling with me, with the national team. I think I wasn't called up to the first round of qualifiers, but after that, yeah, I had really, really good games. I bet on myself and my own performances. Playing in a World Cup is the ultimate achievement for a player, especially after going through times where it seems really, really far away. I think that's important, having that self-belief. And it's not gonna always work out, but if you really believe that it's gonna work out and that you're good enough, then there's a better chance of it happening.